yes, yes, boys and what girls. Up, what up? Ladies and gentlemen, cats and dogs. What is going on? <laughs> so we're back again, guys. I'm going to show you something else now. So we're showing you all these mad things that we've learned. We're showing you different things from what everybody else is showing you. So yep. I'm about to show you something now. So guys, we're about to start a game, yeah? So X on select mission, standard, X playing a squad, X Liberty Falls. Now, when you get cool. to this part here, you go to where it says edit loadout, okay? Now, yeah, I have showed you... you Yep. Now I have showed you that the best gun to get, I believe, for like in in this whole map up until around 30 level 30 is the PP919. Now your secondary is going to always be a knife. We've showed you how to get that out as well. You hold down your melee button and it brings it out. Okay. You can use a baseball bat as well, level 52. You also get what we call field upgrades. Now mine is on dark flare, and as you can see, I've got 177 kills with it. Okay. God damn. Now, depending on which one you have, you can have the energy mine, which throws out an energy beam, like a round little electric energy ball. three times. And it does it three times, so it pulsates three times. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Now, I have used it. I got 86 kills with it. I haven't used this thing here. Right, it says I have, but I haven't. I don't know how. But the Frenzied Guard, it repairs all your armor, and it makes you basically, all the zombies run towards you, but they can't really do shit. Then you've got the dark flare one, which is the one I choose to use. So what you do is you press R1, R1. It brings out the gun, like, which is, it's like a ray gun type yeah, thing. Yeah, I was going to say it's like a ray gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a ray gun type gun. And it lets out this purple light, same as what you see on the screen in the thing. And it lets up a purple beam. And whoever's in front of it, it kills them instantly. Now, I prefer Generates this an one. energy beam that deals lethal damage and penetrates everything in its path. That's a good one. Yeah, and now I prefer to use this, I won't lie. When I'm stuck, or I'm in the corner, and I'm thinking, shit, I'm about to get it. I just pull it out, and it just straight, one beam straight in front of you, and everything's yeah. dead. You get I like me? that. I like yeah, that. it's quite good. good. Yeah, it's a good shot. The next shot. one's a good one, you know. I didn't know this guy. It's a must-have. You unlock it yeah. at level 33. You must have unlocked it already. Yeah, so this one here, I was going to say next. Now, how this works is, if I go down, if I go down, and you can't get to me to revive me, and you've got your perk ready to go, you run next to me, press it, and it automatically revives yeah, me. Yeah, all nearby players immediately. Yeah. That's a that's a must-have. Yeah, man. I get straight up, fully loaded weapon, and I can start spraying. But I believe, guys, if you want to use them, and you look, I'm level 41. I'm not going to lie. You need to level up, guys. You need to level up. Otherwise, you don't open these things. I think the you first understand? three are alright, because uh, the first three are alright. I'm only level yeah. whatever I am. Yeah, you know, 20 something. Level. So once you get to level 20, you get you can open the dark flare and stuff like that, and then the healing. The last one is called the Ether Shroud, and it says phasing. From enemy. Yeah, there you That's go. That's sick, bro. So yeah, you basically so, become hidden, they don't kill you. Yeah, and that unlocks at level 47, guys. So that I will, will make a video. Go on. Yeah, yeah. Go so I'm going to no, make no. a separate video using all of them to show you what they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah, using the energy yeah. mine, one using the frenzied guard, one using dark flare, healing aura. And by the time I get to that, I will have, I'll be level 47 the, the, and I'll have the other one. Ether shroud. Aether yeah. Shroud, whatever it is. Aether, ether, whatever it is. But if you ask me, guys, personally, I won't lie. The best one to use once you can open it is dark flare. If you are the kind of person who's got... You know, you want to keep your team going and stuff like that. Healing aura is the one. But yeah, if you're Dark Flare for guys, now... needs different ones, definitely. Yeah. He, I was just about to say that. If you're in a if you're in a squad, so say me, Raja, I don't know, Silver and Seed are playing. One of us has to have the healing one. One of us has to. Because that's the way we survive and get to a bigger rounds, basically. But at the moment, Dark Flare for me is the one I think is the best one. Yeah, the damage yeah. one's dirty as well. So if you look at, if you read the frenzy, the second one, the frenzy guard. So I'm reading now. Repair armor to full and force all enemies in the area to kills while active. So it temporarily they all come to target you, but the armor takes all the damage. Yeah, so you can literally just get a train if you're trying to XP up and then just use that. Yeah, and nothing happens to you. But yeah. it's an also a good way if you use that and I need to get revived. You use that, they all run towards you. Next man revives me, boom, we yeah. all got back up. So there's so and many different strats. Round, mm. Yeah, you can use so much strat. If you're the highest round, imagine 
and someone has Aoife Shroud, the man them are down, he goes invisible, they don't know what to do, he goes and he can want to revive you. There you go. So there's so many different things you can do, guys. Yeah. Also, I will tell you a few of the tacticals which I think are really good to use. So you when you start, you have concussion. You don't really want to smoke. use concussion too much because mm -hmm. it, you know, smoke don't do nothing. Once you open stim shot, get your stim shot. That helps a lot. When you're stuck, hit it, boom. You know, it gives you a bit of a health boost. You can jump, run, slide, whatever, get out of there. Decoy don't really do nothing. It just, you know. But stim shot. And I think Semtex because. Now, the blast trap is quite good as well because you just chuck it on the floor and when they walk across it, it blows them up. So if you're running, you can chuck it and you got a train behind you. Boom, yeah. they're gone. But then I still think the Semtex is better because you dash it in the middle of the train and it kills everybody around. You get me? Mm. I've got quite a few kills with it. I've opened up the, the combat uh, axe. One, first thing. One thingy. kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One no, hit I, kill. Yeah, so the combat axe I have used as well. I've got 13 kills with it. It is good. But you've got to then run and pick it back up. So it's kind of... But... My loadout right now is this, guys. I've got the PP19. 919. I've got the Dark that, Flare. Yeah. yeah. Knife comes automatically, guys. You can't change that. Until you, you open... The knife. You, until X. you open the baseball, oh, the baseball bat, bat, which is level, level 50. 52. Yeah. 52, 52, whatever. So it comes as standard. So I've got... The PP919, I've got the knife, which, you know, to get the knife out, you just hold down the melee like we've showed you. Wait, I've got the Dark that, Flare, yeah. I've got the Stim Shot, and I've got the Semtex. And at the bottom, you've got the Bubblegum Packs, yeah. I've just got a random one, I just thought I'd put it on there just for the yeah. sake of it. But you don't really... I, I don't care about the Bubblegum crap, guys. But I think, at the moment, once you have this gun, like I said, use it. You get the most amount of bullets and it's it's a lethal weapon, trust me. But this whole thing was like to show you guys, like I said, that, the, you know, the dark flare and yeah. stuff like that. How so, to use your field upgrade, basically, this is it and what it's yeah. about. So yeah. we're going to probably put a little clip at the end of this with yeah. the, how, like showing you the dark flare. Yeah. Um, but yeah, do keep in a video and I'll, do keep a lookout for the other videos that we put on how to use the dark flare, etc. And the other ones and the other ones, but yeah. If you don't know how yeah, to guys, use it, like Omar said, default controls is L2 and R2. So, you know when you do it, when you're in the middle of it... It's L1, like, R1. L1, Sorry, R1. Yeah. For me, it's the other way around, yeah. So, it is L1, R1. And that's default setup. And then it's got to be charged up. So, you know when you're playing, it'll say zero. But once it's maxed out, it'll be highlighted and flashing. Yeah. And when you need to use it, use If it. you see um, one that says power, there's like a power thing that said max power, then it automatically refills that for you. That's what that's there for. You it gives you max power. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, like, comment, subscribe, share if we're helping you with these videos. Like I said, if you like my setup, this is my setup right now. And if you want to use it, feel free, guys. I think it is the best one. I've got to level 31 with this, this gun, and it still worked wicked. So, yeah. And it's not even fully upgraded, so, you know. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share. Let us know if that helped. I'm going to add a little bit on the extra end now to show you exactly how and what the weapon does. How to use it in the game and what it does, basically. Yeah. yeah. Peace. Peace. It's about to go off. We have been going off on the zombies, me and Raja. I'm about to go help Raja and I'm going to show you how. So, I've got the dark, I believe it's a dark, Fire dark set. effect, dark matter effect or something. So, what it's going to do, yeah, is this guy's watch. You press L1, R1, and it pulls this weapon out, and anything that's in Ooh, front of you, you gets it, bro. Ah, beast, it was quick. There's a big monster behind you. I know, yeah? I know, I know, I know, I know. I can hear him. Don't worry about all parts of Godzilla, bro. Oh, I'm dead. No! That's but that's how you do it, guys. <laughs> that's how you do it. You press L1, R1. It old. Yeah, and then it. Kicks that out. Oh, we're getting revived. Blood clot. I'm dead. You're alive. Max armor. So, guys, do you can pick uh, ability thing as well, and that lets you um, have a sort the full power effect. And when you get the full power effect, that's what it does for you. Obviously, right now we got this big dog chasing me, as you can see. Raja must be spectating me. Yep. 
Abdi, what? Your Acing man, you know. On and off, on and off. Oh, I don't know. So can you see, guys, the special ability, you get to choose it when you're creating your loadout, right? And then that thing in the middle that says zero for now on Omar, that thing is between the spin shot and the tactical grenade, or concussion, is the special ability. So once that's fully powered up and you're in a situation, you just go, oh, I'm here now. Right, cool. Oh, this motherfucker don't leave me alone, bro!